hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back as you guys are watching us now we are in another lockdown so it's just great fun for us all isn't it it's just yeah i think we're just never gonna get out this is just a constant cycle of a nightmare that we're never gonna get out but it's fine we can all watch my vids i'm so excited to be filming this video i am doing a diy on my bedroom with my bedroom, it's been a very long process. I've done one major thing, left it for a couple months or even a year, and then done something else, then done something else. So gradually it's it's became like this. And I wish I kind of did my bedroom all in one go and it would have been like all done, but I don't know why. Well, I guess I've changed my mind. I've done a few things. I thought I like how it is. I think actually now I could do changing that. And then it's just bit by bit, it's piecing itself together. So I'm very happy how it is at the moment, but I am going to do some slight changes. So today I am going to be DIYing my wardrobe. So my wardrobe is not big enough. <laughs> I mean that like, when I was taking all my clothes out my wardrobe, I think, I, you know those bin bags, like the big size ones, I went through seven of them. That has all my clothes filled to the brim of all my clothes in those bags. So I have a lot of clothes and I love fashion. That is why I need a bigger wardrobe. My bedroom is not the biggest, but I've definitely been open-minded and how I can use this space. And that's why it's gradually took me time to get things because I've been very wary of how much space I've got. I don't want to take up too much stuff and got to be practical. Yeah, so it's been a lot of decisions really. I've decided to go for a sliding wardrobe. Obviously, she went for a white wardrobe. I just can't put my name in it while I would go for white, you know? I hate, hate the colour white, obviously. I'm so excited for you guys to see the whole process of the wardrobe, but I'm, I'm just so excited. I love DIY. I'm in lockdown all the time, so I'm super excited. Today is a bit of getting rid of all my stuff. So I've done all the clothes. It's now getting the badass wardrobe out of my bedroom. I'm trying to not take it apart because I can't be bothered, but if I have to break it or slam it down, I absolutely will. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a bit of a changeover, so a bit of get it all sorted, get it ready, get all the furniture out so I've got space to build my wardrobe and then piece by piece we'll get everything back to normal. But I just love DIY, DIY is a bit of me and I'm so excited and I'm very excited for my new wardrobe, it's very big. I had to sacrifice a bit of space in my bedroom, I just needed a bigger wardrobe at the end of the day. I wasn't going to get rid of my clothes because I love them all and I just needed some more space. So fingers crossed it goes all well. Let's get everything out of my bedroom and let's get it all sorted. This is how my bedroom looks so far. Um, so it's not the biggest in the world. It is um, practical. Um, let's just not talk about my makeup stain. I am working on that one. Um, but yeah, this is my mirror. And I did have some accessories on that wall and I took it down. So I am thinking of what to put there. I may have a clock or a picture. I have, I'm still deciding. There's my windowsill, um, my bed, my TV, and then this is the wardrobe that is going. Yeah, so this is the wardrobe and this is my chest of drawers. This is the wardrobe that is going and the chest of drawers are going. My wardrobe is going from there to pretty much there, so it's almost doubling in size. Um, it's just not big enough anymore. It's just really small. And I just wanted all of it to be a wardrobe and I got all this space that I have, I'm not using. So I need to be practical with my space that I've got. This wardrobe is going. I am gonna be selling it um, if I don't damage the wardrobe. So if guys are interested, I will let you know all the dimensions and sizes. And yeah, that's pretty much what's going really. This half of my bedroom, it's pretty much staying as it is. This is what's going to be changing. And just, I need to really get a bigger wardrobe and make the full use of it. And empty. Try to clean the floor as best as I can. 
Um, but yeah, God, I've got all this space. Hopefully I've got enough space and room to build my wardrobe. It's gonna be a very tight squeeze, um, but yeah to get everything sorted. Next stage is actually waiting for the wardrobe to arrive, which will be tomorrow. So then we are going to assemble it. That's gonna be very interesting. Yeah, I'm so excited how this is all gonna plan and go really. Chat to you guys in a bit, bye. So, um, next day, the delivery has arrived. I'm not joking you when I say this is literally the heaviest thing in the world. Like, I'm joking you, it's like the same weight as a car. And little me is trying to get this up the stairs. My back already hurts just getting it into the house. Literally the weight of the car. Not even showing you. Um, so that's gonna be interesting getting upstairs. But literally defeated here. I'm gonna have to wait someone to wake up. But it is so worthy. <laughs> Basically, it's long, but we've only done two dogs. Yeah, we've not even done that much, but it is draining. And we're just following the instructions, taking our time so we don't make the mistakes. We just had a little break, some food, and now we're back at it again, and we've got a proper drill. Um, so Look at this, guys. a light. Oh, what? Let's watch some more of Building the Wardrobe. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I've almost stabbed you, to be honest. I've almost stabbed you in the pole. But that's all I've got to say. Yeah, we're still going, guys. We haven't forgot about you. Right, on with the time clap. Just turn your volume down. This is what I've hated. I don't like it. I fucking hate it. And the thing is with Lucy, 
this room, she can drop like a like a lip balm on the floor, and it sounds like I, she did it once. I thought the TV fell, like I generally did. It's so like hollow. So God forbid, poor mother downstairs must think. Fuck. <laughs> done this very well but basically we're just having a little bit of a charge up because we've got to assemble the actual wardrobe now so we're not giving up it's really hard guys <laughs> And I think we're gonna. <laughs> I think we're gonna call it a day. I'm booking therapy We've sessions. Got the foundations of it, um, like so, <laughs> and we just need to lift it up um, once it's all been pushed in together. We're really struggling to like push these in. We will be back on it tomorrow. We got a couple more pieces. I think we will get this sorted tomorrow, but it, this was the hardest getting the shape assembling it together so guys it's day three of the wardrobe build it's just chaos sorry my siblings are making a noise in the background i'm glad that we had a sleep on it because yesterday was really we really almost fell out me and sophie so we've recharged we've refreshed basically we're going to kind of get everything all together really and hopefully today's a day it gets sorted but knowing our luck right. it'll probably be pushed again wish us luck guys and yeah roll on day three let's get the wardrobe together right let's go <laughs> So what we've done, we've assembled all of it together now. So it is actually solid now. Um, so all the joints are together with a bit of help of everyone. We are finally done with assembling the actual like wardrobe. What I was doing in this tiny bit of corner is that this is the planks that support the whole wardrobe. And I was just screwing in all of these and then the ones up here as well. It's all assembled now. That's all supportive. So it's now on to the back and the front of the wardrobe. This is just a never ending wardrobe. I really, really hope it is on its two feet today. Like that is the main goal. I don't care what the clothes going in. I just want the wardrobe facing up. So fingers crossed this will actually happen. I don't care about the doors being on, just want the wardrobe to be up. On with the time caps. <laughs> the wardrobe is up thank goodness for that it is on its two feet i'm going to quickly just go through the accessories that i've got for the wardrobe so guys let's quickly go through the accessories that i've got i got a thing called sensor lights so sensor lights it's a strip like so 
and it goes all around the wardrobe and then when this indicates you're near it turns the sensor lights on and they last around about five minutes and then they turn themselves off if they're not near anything what i'm going to do now i'm just going to basically get the sensor lights whack it around um, the side of the wardrobe and then I can get on with everything else. But yeah, I thought I need to get this done first because if I get the doors on, it's gonna be really, really awkward to get around it. So I'm gonna crack on with getting the lights on. <laughs> light is that this um part of the box senses you and then the lights turn on but obviously there's a lot of movement going on so they're all on at the moment um but yeah there's a strip of led light right round up and then round as so so it's at the top i didn't put it any on the bottom just because if i am having boxes and they are going in and out i really don't want to like ruin them so i just didn't put them on the bottom just in case i was going to skag it or do something but yeah, so that's what they look like with the lights. Uh, the lights didn't come with the wardrobe. I bought them separately. That's what it looks like. I'm so, so happy how it looks. And um, yeah, the sensor lights do need to be at the front. So when you do open the doors, you will indicate, yeah, quite, quite activate good. the sensors and the lights will turn on as well. How gorgeous is that? The lights make a massive difference. So I do highly recommend getting some lights for your wardrobe because they make the biggest difference. It feels very professionally done. Guys, I'm so happy how it looks. Like the lights are so effective and I really like the color. It's really, really good. I'm so happy about it all. Yay! And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna have a short little break. I'm gonna grab myself some tea and a drink and then we should be on getting the doors assembled. I'll chat to you guys in a bit. show what i'd done so these were all separate and so we screwed them on like so so all the wheels are on and they're all plated together one door assembled i need to do the other door one door done i just need to do the other door i think we're just going to build the door today i'm going to build the second door and then i think that's going to be it for tonight <laughs>
doors. Oh, God, it is tiring doing a wardrobe. So the doors are completely done. Very happy how they turned out. Lovely color, uh, look just like how they did in the photos. I do need to clean them up if you feel like marks and stuff my fingers have been. So I do need to give them a good clean over and a good wet wipe over. But at least the doors are done. Now all we gotta do is just whack it on there, a couple of screws. I think we just lost all the energy today. <laughs> so I think we're gonna do all of the, actually putting the doors on tomorrow. But I genuinely think it will be done by tomorrow. Closing, doors on, everything. That should all be done by tomorrow. And then I can put my makeup desk back in and make my room how it used to be really. I'm just so happy it's all coming together. I'm so hot, I'm sweaty, I'm just like very hot in here. And um, yeah, that is all of it done. I'm just so happy that the doors are done and the wardrobe's up on its two feet. But I actually put the doors on tomorrow, but the actual like screwing and assembling, I f fingers crossed, looks like it's done. I think there's no more screwing and stuff. I, there might be one or two things, but nothing major. So I'm just so happy the worst of it is over. And then it's just putting the, the wheels on, I guess, and getting it on the doors. Bring on day four tomorrow, um, but that's it for day three. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So guys, it is day four, and hopefully it is also last day of assembling the wardrobe. So to keep you up to date on what's been going on, we're up to the doors now. So the wardrobe is on its two feet. Today, I really just want the doors on and hopefully some clothes in. I really want some clothes up in the wardrobe so I don't have to keep living out of bags. That would be very nice. I also want my makeup desk back in here and my mirror. But I think today should be the last day of getting it all together. Let's roll on day four and hopefully <laughs> everything will get sorted um, and hopefully the doors will be assembled really because I can't keep living like this with my bedroom like messy and just all over the place. But yeah, right, roll on day four and on with the time lapse. <laughs> it like slow oh god i'm like crashing the place i have to get used to gently opening the doors this one it's <sighs> so guys here we have it it was a really tiring process i have to admit here we have the doors opening like so there goes the wardrobe i think we're just fully drained from this wardrobe get all the clothes in i'm gonna get my makeup desk in i'm gonna sort everything out i'm just so happy how it's turned out it's bloody huge bloody massive fingers crossed that is it it's going to give you the full effect of the lights turning on the wardrobe oh. <laughs> 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 nice and gently here we go um, so let's quickly go through the accessories that I got for the actual wardrobe. So one thing when I got my wardrobe is that I wanted all my hangers to look the same. In my previous wardrobe, I had hangers from all sorts of shops and nothing really matched. So I really wanted everything to match and everything to go with each other. I got these clip-on hangers like so, so anything like skirts and shorts. I got 20 of these. I got myself some black velvet hangers and they're really bendy and really flexible and they're just non-slip ones as well. So I got a hundred of these. I'm gonna start putting my clothes in my wardrobe. Let's go. <laughs>
my makeup desk and my bed, my TV. And the big difference is the wardrobe. A little bit untidy. So the lights come on. Um, so I need boxes for everything. So I've got a good couple of clothes in there. Um, but it's still a bit messy, just so I need baskets and stuff. They haven't arrived yet. So once everything is in baskets, it will look so much more neater. Just all a bit messy at the moment. But yeah, it's got all my blazers and then my blankets up there. But it will be a lot tidier when it's in baskets. But yeah, that is it with my bedroom. <laughs> it that's the wardrobe assembled i'm just so happy how it turned out so i'm just yeah it is definitely definitely worth it but god you need like mentally and physically prepare yourself to do a wardrobe it was a lot of fun doing it but it was a lot of stress like it tested my patience i have to admit anyway yeah thank you so so much for watching guys have an amazing day guys stay stay safe and obviously i'll see you guys on my channel very very soon bye <laughs> I'm never doing a wardrobe ever again in my life. I did sign up for this. I thought I'd get my will. <laughs> I'm so done. 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 I'm so